everybody, and thanks for joining me today. So um, uh, I got a request. I got a request to do uh, how to pixelate uh, certain parts of a clip out, like a face, a number, or a number plate. So um, a YouTuber by the name of Mick had sent me a clip and asked me if I could uh, pixelate out the number plate on his motorbike. Mm. So just, uh, I'll have a look at his clip and see why he would want to do that. So let's have a look. Right, I think I know why he would want the uh, num plates blocked out before he uploads it to YouTube and shares it with the world. Alright, well Mick, uh, I'm sure I can help you out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, well, as you know, that was just a bit of a bit of a laugh. So here's the actual original clip. Uh, as you can see, it's um, not really a bank job, but nonetheless, he he liked to keep his identity uh, private, and he's got a couple of number plates here and here that he wished to pixelate out. So, and this is actually done uh, relatively easy now with Video uh, Studio 14, where in the old uh, versions you had to overlay, mask it, and it was it was quite a task. So, not anymore, not anymore. All we need to do is go to to your FX folder, or go into your new Blue Video Essentials, and there's your pixelator. Okay, so you drag that on the clip. And as you can see, it uh, immediately starts to form a pixelator in a certain area. So then it's just a matter of uh, adjusting the sizes. Now, I, I'm going to go first to reset none because I don't want any uh, presets in here. I'm going to also do that to the right, to the last one, reset the none. So it just brings everything back as uh, otherwise this preset from this keyframe to that keyframe will change. And you don't want that because it's really annoying. Then I'm going to go back to my first keyframe. Now, um, if you're not sure about what keyframes do, there is a tutorial on keyframes as well. Okay, so uh, here's the number plate. So let's just increase the, the width slightly and the height slightly to bring our little pixels onto the screen. And oh, it's just a matter of, um, you know, as you can see, it's really starting to uh, hide his plate. Use your uh, preview window here. This is your objector uh, to hide uh, whatever it is. So I'm just gonna there. Yes, that's good. So uh, now the only thing when you use Pixelator, it uh, just takes a little bit of time and effort to uh, to do it. You know, it's it's not gonna auto track for you. So then you need to play the clip a bit. And uh, just watch it, watch it. It's still okay. See how it's now moving off slightly. So what you need to do is you just move it there again to cover it again, which immediately creates another keyframe. Okay. So because you've changed the attributes to, on your presets, then you uh, play again. And all right. So it's starting to reveal it slightly more. So you just keep moving it. Every time you see it going off, you just follow it. So hopefully your uh, clip isn't like two hours long. I'm going to tell you that's quite the task. Okay. So you get the general idea. So you, you just watch your clip, and as it moves, you you can then change the settings because uh, it, it may approach you, it may get bigger. Uh, so you just change your settings accordingly: height, width, and block size. Okay, so that's, you know, I'm not going to do the whole clip for you, I'm pretty sure you get the general idea. Alright, so once you think, yeah, you know what, let's go all the way back to the beginning, so just have a quick preview of what I've done so far. So yeah, he looks pretty good, uh, he's he's well hidden now, uh, well, not 100%, but you get the picture. But we still got this guy, and uh, he doesn't want to get caught either, so let's just apply this one first. Well, nothing stops you from adding another FX onto it. So now we have the same thing again. Double click and customize your filter. So let's go do exactly the same thing. Reset the none. Reset the none. Go all the way back to your first keyframe. 
just going to bring this up slightly so I can actually see it. And there it is in my screen, and I'm going to move this one over to that number plate. So, so now you can see this number plate has been covered or pixelated out. So let's just move him down. He's he's obviously in a great hurry to get out. Well, it doesn't need to be this big, does it? You can just drop the size slightly, and we do the exact same thing. We just follow wherever he is going. Okay, so I think you get the general idea of uh, on how to do it. All you need to do is just follow your footage, make sure that uh, it's covered. And if you make a mistake, like like I said in my last keyframe tutorial, you can just delete these frames, keyframes, just highlight and delete. Oh, sorry, over here, sorry, delete. <laughs> yeah, it would help if I uh, actually highlighted it, wouldn't it? Duh. Okay, so you get the general idea that you just watch your footage and as it moves, you keep moving your objective and this will add keyframes along your footage. And it's just a matter of just sitting there, watching your footage and just repeatedly doing that. So if I go back and apply, I go all the way back to the beginning, you will now see this number plate is pixelated out and so is this number plate. So these boys can do the great getaway. <laughs> uh, all right, Mike, uh, I hope this worked out for you. And as always, thanks for watching.